Well guys, I've eventually found my tripod. So I had an unboxing, it's my mystery package. So I've got a, well kind of two unboxings to do. So we'll just get through to this one. And so this is something that I like the look of. I think it looks absolutely awesome. Even though this version isn't too cracky. It's gonna need some serious upgrades. So I do plan to eventually get rid of the bits and bobs that are in this package. Here we go. And I don't know if you guys can see that there. Let me just move the box. One minute. Shut it all up. Let's pop that over there. Here it is. Okay, I really like the look of this. I think it looks kind of awesome. Um, I do like the rally, a bit partial to the valleys. And the body shell on this Deegan Fiesta, it looks out this world, man. It's really nice. Now, if you were to buy this, guys, again, I would uh, recommend, probably hold on, because this minimum should have come with a VXL system. For some strange reason, they've done it as a brushed system. Ideally, I mean, it's going to be really underpowered, really underpowered. And um, so, like I say, it should have that should have come out brushed. And let's have a quick look at the box. Now, I've got a rally anyway. I like this shell. Um, so what I was planning on doing is, I was going to get rid of all the bits that I don't like because I can't see them bringing out a brushless one just yet so I was planning on woo, let go around I was planning on um, getting this there we go oh yeah that is nice well the tires are actually bigger than what I thought I thought they were tiny because that was one of the things I thought about upgrading I thought they'd be t absolutely tiny, but they're a fair size. But I know they do rub. Now, if you were to buy this, like I was saying, guys, that I would um, take the pins out first. I would wait, because th I'm sure they're going to bring it out as a brushless version. Because I would not run it like this. So the brush system and the XL5 ESC is definitely going to be eBay. And this is what I did like. This body shell here. That is nice. That is beautiful. So, I do like the size as well, because I have the rally. And it's the, it's the Traxxas Slash chassis, so, and the diffs are the same, so it's kind of a proven chassis in my eyes. Uh, and a, a proven car and drivetrain. What you will have to upgrade, as well as the, uh, well, <laughs> there's a lot to upgrade in here. I don't want to cut myself with these little tabs. I better be careful. Better your scissors. If you have scissors, but if not, it's cool. Okay, so here we have it. <laughs> to be honest with you guys, everything on this is going to need an upgrade. The electrics will definitely need an upgrade, without a doubt. Um, that ESC, I, you're probably going to squeeze 20 to 30 miles an hour out of that that motor as well brushed once you've been to brushless I don't think you can go back to be honest with you guys um, but I like the fact that it was a, sh a, a rally I was gonna get a rally anyway now this is interesting because they use different eight arms and you see these eight arms on like the Telluride so they're using it and I think the, it will have a shorter stance because um, they are shorter than the eight arms that are on the slash so that's one thing to keep in mind. Apart from that, everything else seems the same, as well as no turnbuckles. This plastic rubbish. So they've kind of really done it as a budget version. And it is, it is, if it wasn't for the fact it was built on a slash rally stampy kind of chassis, you know, I wouldn't be interested. But the, I checked that the diffs were the same. That's what I was really worried about. And they were, the shocks aren't too cracky either, guys. Um, 
And I don't feel all that. Okay, so here's your bug with your tractor bits and bobs inside it. Surprisingly, they didn't give you as much information with the X-Max. They have a toolkit but no book like they normally do, advertising the rest of the stuff that's come out. And it's a standard toolkit. You know, where's my little knife? It's the standard slash stuff. You don't really get too much. So, what we get here? Alright, so they're telling us about their charger that's come out. Um, and lipo batteries, whatever. Obviously, no charger comes with this. So they wanted to go and buy one. And alright, that's good. That's a bit better. At least it's telling you a little bit about the car, where things go. So for a new person, uh, at least there's a bit of information there for them to work out how to use their RC. I was surprised with the X Max, they didn't really have much of the TQI system. So this kind of was expensive for what it was, guys. Here are your standard toolkits that come with this chassis, rally slash stroke, whatever. And you've got your shock spacers. And that's basically it. And this thing that in the UK, I don't think I hardly ever use it. Even though Logic are supposed to be the people that deal with Traxxas in the UK, um, I've never found them to be much use. I don't know about anybody else. So they don't want to spend money. If something's broken, I don't know if things have improved now, but they're not in a rush to sort you out. Standard, doesn't have TSM. So a real basic sit, uh, system. And because I got fed up with the setup stuff, I went to Flysky, which I found was loads better. And the receivers are four pound each. And you can't really mess with that. And that's what I did. So a few more. All right, let's talk about the machine. So, right, well, they've got turnbuckles on the front, none on the back, but I think what I'd probably do is put the slash ones on. Um, not too fond of that. The rest of it, though, is exactly as the Rally 110 scale. Everything else is exactly the same. The way it's built, the chassis, front bumper, shock towers, rear bumper, everything's exactly the same. And like I said before, the diffs are as well. So, I need to see how it, See how, see how it drives. What I did do with my other rally was I did convert it. I converted it to brushless. Uh, I think put a castle system inside it. Uh, not just that, but um, I beefed up. If you're going to be running a high power system in Slash, you probably do all this. But you want to have MIPs in the back or something equivalent because they even if you get the heavy duty Traxxas ones, they blow out and you'd be running front wheel drive. VXL system, I sacked that off time ago. That I burnt that, I melted that, the solder came, oh, everything. I completely backed away from that. So I've never bothered with it. They've got an underpowered servo in this, a 2056 instead of the 2075. Let's see how that works out. Um, but yeah, they've basically cut back and skimped and saved on this. And it was £325. You're not really getting your money's worth out of this one. You will, there will be things you're going to upgrade. If it's for a young child, I think it's perfect. Why? Because you're limited to speed. So they give you the NIMA battery that comes with it. Where it's not very many high, it's not a high milliamp battery. And obviously it's kind of dulled down electrics. So you're not in any danger using this stuff. But if it was for an adult, then I would definitely change a lot of things. Namely, you know what? I'm actually going to show you my other Traxxas Rally. And you can see the kind of things that I've done to that. So let me just pause this for one minute and get that.